Queen Nanny of the Maroons was a straight up G who was essentially Harriet Tubman before Harriet Tubman because she freed nearly 1,000 enslaved black folks, established her own maroon community, and engaged in guerrilla warfare tactics against Britain. If that ain't a G, then I don't know what is. How did she do it? Well, let me explain. Scholars believe that Queen Nanny was born in the late 1600s in what is now present-day Ghana, the Gold Coast, and a member of the Ashanti tribe, which was matrilineal, so leadership was nothing new to her. Since she was born free, she knew she could never be a slave, so she ran away as soon as she got to Jamaica and established a free maroon community in the mountains. She trained her people in guerrilla warfare tactics and often raided plantations. Queen Nanny was freeing so many black people that Britain went on a woman hunt in the mountains to find her because they kept losing money. And they eventually signed a treaty because they couldn't defeat 